we use the seeds for catching a bit. We cut it, and then you find a worm inside. A worm? The insect. Just lay inside and then form up a worm. So it's feeding on the They're nuts? They're feeding on the nuts, all the time feeding on the nuts. So do you want to open this one? Ah, there's a hole. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That's big. Oh it's, oh, oh, it's trying to bite me, actually. So it's really sharp, because they actually cut through this hard nut. It's just a sack of amino acids and goodness. From a fish's point of view, they're going to love that. One thing this really underlines is the importance of local knowledge, how to actually get started. If I was having to work this out for myself, I'd just be wasting time. It's perfect bait to entice smaller fish. Ah, and the fish are coming already. Yeah. That is quite incredible. You could see the fat forming a sort of slick on the surface, and these fish just came from nowhere. Ah, first time. Yeah. Yes, oh. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Look at that. We're on the way. This is um, moving up the food chain. So from palm grub to miniature fish, to slightly bigger fish, to top predator. It's just the essentials. It's just a hook, a little bit of wire, just to protect against piranha teeth, a bit of weight, and the line. And I'm going to whirl that round my head, lob it out. That's the one. And then you're feeling with your fingers on the line, which is what I like to do with the rod, actually. You get a lot of information if there is anything moving down there. Now, it's a waiting game. Oh. Fish. I've hooked into something much bigger than I expected. Take it there, take it there, take it there. All right. Yeah. That is just a beautiful, beautiful fish. More to the point, it's very encouraging. Incredible to think that uh, a couple of hours ago, a palm nut on the floor in the forest has turned into this.